Cam Newton, bro. What the hell you doing out there by yourself in the hood, in the ghetto, in the trenches? I know we all come from it, but bro, you feel me? We hold you at a higher standard, bro. You supposed to have security, best friends around you, motherfuckers socking shit up. I know in the video, I seen motherfuckers, you feel me? Like the nigga in the white shirt, like he socking niggas up for you. And like you, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like you standing up on your own two feet. So like we already know, like you can handle yourself and all that shit. You feel me? And I appreciate that and I respect that, bro. Cause you was handling your business. I don't know what was going on, I don't know how the fight broke out, but you was throwing them. You had niggas in chokeholds. You feel me? Punching another nigga while you was in the choke. Why you had a, that nigga in the chokehold, bro? Like you was doing your thing. I'm proud of you, Cam. I'm, I'm, Cam. I'm, I'm, I can say that was some Superman shit. <laughs> Cam on his superhero shit out there, throwing them. No, why he getting jumped by like seven people? I heard on the internet, TSP. I don't know what that is. Probably a gang in Atlanta or something. I see that you feel me. I was out there in the A. You feel me getting down throwing bows, man. I, I see you, Cam. I fucking see you, but next time, bro, at least have some kids like security around you, bro. Bro, you're black, bro. We're all black. You, you feel me? Like we, you feel me? Don't want to see you going through these transgressions, bro. We don't want to see you getting dragged in the mud or like you feel me? Like we want you to be like walking around this bitch like Donald Trump type shit with like Secret Service, bro. I see the staff was coming, but them niggas came too late. You feel me for your A. And that's fucked up because you're supposed to have somebody always around you, bro, to defuse that shit so motherfuckers won't even try you, bro. Motherfuckers know that you got paid. Motherfuckers know that, you feel me, that the black community holds you at a, uh, like a certain statue, you feel me? So it's like people want to try you, bro, for who you are, bro, because you made it out, bro, because you're somebody, you feel me? Not everybody going to try you, but them people did, you feel me, because they jealous, bro, because they want your spot. You feel me? And I understand that. You know, but, bro, you was looking like a real Superman out there, bro. Throwing niggas, tossing niggas all over the balconies, balancers, and all type of shit, bro. You out there really handling, handling your business, bro. Like, but I just felt like, you feel me? That wasn't the way to go out like that, bro. Now niggas can damn near sue you all that shit up on the internet, bro. Hella shit like niggas want to sue you for like some money or whatever. But you feel me? Like that shit hella weak, bro. How this shit got got you on the internet. You feel me? Fighting niggas like that, bro. That shit hella weak, Cam. I ain't going to lie, bro. I ain't going to lie, Cam. You got to do better, man. Hire, hire security, man. You rich enough to get security, bro. And you got a podcast, so you got some cheese. You got some cheese, bro. Always hire you security, bro. You feel me? At least three or four, you feel me? Like security guards, they ain't nothing but a couple hundred thousand, like like a couple dollars, you feel me? Even not even a hundred thousand, like a thousand dollars, you feel me? At least for like a couple hours just to, you feel me? Have your back safe, you feel me? And so you can move around safely, you feel me? Like without people trying you, you feel me? But, I, but you always going outside to these camps and football rallies and uh, high schools and you feel me pop warner events you feel me for football and you know you never get tried but it's just this one time like them idiots is trying you bro like they trying you for what bro like you feel me like i understand like where you coming from cam like these niggas be hating out here up on you bro cam bro these niggas be you feel me out here envying you and shit and I feel like niggas only envy the uh, the people who they look up to. You feel me? People only envy the motherfuckers who they want to be like. You feel me? Motherfuckers jealous because they can't get their family out the hood. You feel me, Cam? Cam, I'm telling you, bro. I'm, I'm letting you know this, bro, from a, you feel me, real nigga perspective. From a black perspective, bro. From, from a nigga who, you feel me, ain't really got too much. You feel me? But got enough. You feel me? So I understand, bro, like what you're going through, bro. I just feel like it's some bullshit behind that shit bro and, and when you come out in your interview bro I, I know that you gonna tell it you feel me that these niggas was just hating bro niggas just be hating bro it's just the hate you know what i'm saying it's just the hate cam but it's cool man but look man please like comment and subscribe you feel me and uh stay tuned to the next video you feel me you feel and cam bro you too big of a person bro to be stupid down to these idiots level bro you feel me? You got a lot of shit going on. You got a lot of shit that's riding on you. You got people that's depending on you. You feel me? Like the rest of us.
You feel me? But Cam, bro, look. Cam Newton. Don't get caught in nobody else's stupidity, bro. If them, if them fools want to be stupid, bro, let them be stupid by themselves, bro. You should know this, bro. You should know, bro, that, you feel me, controversy and all that shit. You feel me? Like, that's what comes with it, bro. Like, you've been dealing with adversity your whole life. Bro, so why stoop down to that level, bro? Be bigger than that. Be, be the bigger person that you is, bro. Like, you smart enough, bro, to understand what is going on, bro, in this world. You feel me? And... You know, just let that shit go, bro. You should have just turned the other cheek, bro, for real. Should just turn the other cheek. I was like, nigga, y'all niggas not worth it. Because honestly, reality, they're not worth it, bro. They're not worth your endorsements, your sponsorships. You hear me? Your brand, bro. Like, now they can say anything about your brand now. You feel me? Like, you just gave them a reason to hate on you. You just gave them a reason to talk bad to you. You just gave them a reason, bro, to throw dirty on name and Walk you through the mud and throw hella salt on your your shit, bro. I feel like, bro, you should have turned the other cheek, bro. But what do I know? Hey, I'm just a trucker, but at the end of the day, bro, salute to you, bro. I hope that you get better. I hope this controversy that you win, you feel me, nothing, nothing bad or goes on with you, bro. You feel me? And I just feel like, you know, you're going to bounce back from this, bro. You feel me? Like you, like I said, like you smart and you intelligent, bro. But don't let them people stoop you down from... I look good, but don't let them people, you feel me, bring you down, bro, to a level that you was already at. Stay up here, you feel me? Stay up here, never down here, you feel me? I'm never above you. I'm not below you, but I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Always remember that, bro. And you don't owe nobody no explanation, bro, about nothing that you doing, you feel me? You're a grown man. You're standing on business. you handling your business. You feel me? Do you. Fuck, fuck what these people got to say. You know what I'm saying? Fuck but it's good, man. We gone, man. We gang. Look, Rob side, we doing forever. Hey, look, look. Uh huh.